You're not living your life every single day, day in, day out, worrying about having visible abs and eating in a deficit. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I do. They're the, they're the biggest things for me, I think. Uh, you know, the training part, because I grew up doing, like, again, just an active sport in some shape or form, it wasn't so much the string training that came like, oh my God, I got to transition into this. Like, it actually was like a pretty cool transition for me. I think that wasn't my main struggle. My main struggle, and it's something I wish I would have freaking known earlier, was carbs are not the enemy. Like, you <laughs> yeah. are not someone that needs to cut out food yep. groups. I feel like if I would have known this and I would have learned, if I would have taken the time to actually try to learn food and not mm. have this mentality. And hear me out because I think that a lot of you listening might have this mentality that I used to have it at the beginning of my fitness mm. journey was, you know, the, you know, it's just what you don't know doesn't hurt you mentality. <laughs> <laughs> like what you just don't know of, it's just, I don't care about it. I don't, it's not going to hurt me if I don't know about it. So the, the, the longer you stall to learn what values of food are, how food works, how it responds in your body, how, you know, certain things may work for you, how some don't, how you have trigger yeah. foods, how you have, you know, a bad relationship with food and how to fix it. Like you just have to understand food. And I didn't understand food at all. 